delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Hello, senior high school students! Welcome back in today's episode of Lantau Compre, a television-based instruction of DepEd, Division of Tagum City. Let us fill this great new year by learning new things and having a lot of fun. I am your teacher, Jay Clarino, and I will be here to help you acquire the knowledge, skills, and attitudes in the world of food and beverage services. Is your learning material ready? How about your pen and paper? Great! Let's begin a fun and exciting lesson. For this lesson, you are expected to How well do you know about the food and beverage? Let us try to find out by answering the following questions. Are you now ready? Let's go! Write the word fat if the statement is true and write the word bluff if the statement is false. Do not leave any item unanswered. You have 5 seconds for every item to answer. Did I make myself clear? If so, let's start! Statement number one. The menu is a list of all spoon, fork, glass, and plate that is offered to be used in an establishment such as restaurant, cafe, and bar. The correct answer is bluff. Statement number two. The purpose of studying and making the menu is to improve customer relations and build the image of a certain restaurant. The correct answer is fact. Statement number 3. Arranging the list of items in the menu in a particular order is a significant in making the menu. Correct answer is fact. Statement number 4. An appetizer is a typical sweet course that concludes an evening meal. The course usually consists of sweet foods but may include other items. The correct answer is bluff. Statement number 5. There are two different types of menu for different establishments and events, the a la carte and the table de hot. The correct answer is fact. Statement number 6. Salads can be based around wide variety of foods including vegetables, 
fruits and cooked meat, eggs and grains. The correct answer is fat. Statement number 7. A la carte is a French word and means table of the host. In this, the meal is provided at fixed price and the customer has to pay for the complete meal no matter him or her consuming the whole meat or not. The correct answer is bluff. Statement number 8. Table de hot is a French word and means according to the card or customer's order. It's a list of all dishes available in a particular restaurant. The correct answer is bluff. Statement number 9. There are 10 groups of food categories that are listed in the menu where the guest can choose from the variety of foods they want. The correct answer is bluff. Statement number 10. The two types of selling techniques are the upselling and suggestive selling. The correct answer is fact. Good job class! I know you could do it! Welcome once again to Food and Beverage Services, promoting food and beverage products. Do you have any idea about what are the products of food and beverage that need to be promoted? What did you think are the ways of promoting it? What you can see on your screen is a list of all food and drink that is offered in an establishment like restaurant, cafe, and bar. What do we call it? Yes, it is a menu. Why do we need to study the menu? First, to improve customer relations and build the image of the restaurant. A menu may change in terms of variety of foods or prices especially on items listed but are out of stock and items that are not listed but are available. Second, to have knowledge of your products for sale and help service staff suggest additional side orders and answer questions tactfully. Additionally, you will be able to help those customers who usually do not read the fine prints on the menu and may suggest information from the server. Also, to help waiters make suggestions to those guests on a diet and on a budget. In a restaurant, a menu is a representation of food and beverage offerings. There are two types of menu, the a la carte and table de hot. When we say a la carte, this is a French word and means according to the card or customer's order. A list of all the dishes available in a particular restaurant. In this menu, the guest may select separately to compile his or her menu and is required to pay only the food or beverage items ordered. What you can see are samples of this type of menu. Another type of menu is the table de hot, which is a French word and means table of the host. In this, the meal is provided at fixed price and the customer has to pay for the complete meal no matter him consuming the whole meal or not. A limited choice may be given to the customer for each course or between courses. To where can this type of menu be available? It is available in banquets, restaurants where buffet lunch and dinner is available, guest houses, flight catering, institutional catering, welfare catering, combo meals in fast food outlets. Here are the samples of the table de hot menu. 
There are also kinds of menu that is breakfast menu, which contains breakfast items. Lunch and dinner menu that contains lunch and dinner items for appetizer, soup, salad, main entree, desserts, and drinks. And room service menu containing food items for in-rooming dining for hotel guests. What are the contents of the menu? The foods in the menu are grouped into categories. First is appetizers. These are finger foods usually served prior to a meal or in between meal times and are also called ordo, antipasti or starters. These are some of the appetizers. Second, we have soups. A soup is a primary liquid food generally served warm but may also serve cold. Traditionally, soups are classified into two main groups, clear soups and thick soups. Next is salads. Salad is a dish consisting of small pieces of raw or cooked food mixed with a sauce and almost always served cold. Fourth, we have main entree or main course. It is the featured or primary in a meal consisting of several courses. The main dish is usually the heaviest, heartiest, and the most complex or substantive dish on a menu. The main ingredient is usually meat or fish. In a vegetarian meals, the main course sometimes attempt to mimic a meat course. Fifth is a typically sweet course that concludes an evening meal, which is commonly known as what? Dessert. The course usually consists of sweet foods but may include other items. Some of the desserts are cakes, tarts, cookies, biscuits, gelatins, pastries, ice creams, pies, puddings, custards, sweet soups, and candies. Can we consider fruits as one? Yes, it is commonly found in dessert courses because of its naturally occurring sweetness. Lastly is beverages. Drink or beverages are liquids, specifically prepared human consumption. Is water itself classified as a beverage? Though most beverages, including juice, soft drinks, and carbonated drinks, have some form of water, it is not classified as a beverage. The word beverage has been recurrently defined as not referring to water. Consider the following methods of food preparations, namely baked, boiled, braised, broiled, fried, grilled, pan broiled, poached, roasted, sautéed, steamed, stewed, and simmered. Can you refer to your module on page 16? In terms of food preparation time, the time it takes to cook an item will depend on the equipment in the kitchen. The efficiency of the chef and the number of orders placed by the service staff. How about meal accompaniments? What are those? Meal accompaniments are condiments, decorative garnish, and food that may complement the entree. Some examples of meal accompaniments are fish with lemon wedge, fried fish with tartar sauce, steak with steak sauce, pancakes with syrup, and the like. On the other hand, how do we present the menu in a proper way? Present the menu when the guests are already seated. It must be presented right side of the guest using the right hand cover face up. If the menu is multi-folded, this should be presented closed. If it is single fold, 
These should be given open. You should hand the menu to the guest with politeness and smile saying, May I present to you our menu for your food selection accompanied with some introductory suggestive selling. This time, let us discuss the two types of selling techniques. These are upselling and suggestive selling. Upselling is a sales technique used to get a customer to spend more by buying an upgraded or premium version of what's being purchased. While suggestive selling is the act of giving suggestions and ideas to increase the dining guest's original orders. Also, it is a selling technique that introduces to the customer items that are not familiar to them. For instance, the customer did not order an appetizer. The waiter may suggest. It is also another way of increasing profit of the restaurant. Last to discuss is food pairing. It is a method for identifying which foods go well together. On your screen, we have a burger and fries, steaks and salad, steaks and mashed potato, dessert and coffee, and seafood with white wine. Awesome! You've made this far! Thanks for sharing your ideas for today's lesson. Congratulations for doing your best! Let's keep going! Let us try to answer the following questions. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. You have 5 seconds to answer. Number 1. Which among the following methods of food preparations are defined accurately? A. Steamed, immersed in enough liquid to cover the food. B. Boiled, cooked uncovered without water, added usually in an oven. C. Sauteed, browned or cooked in a small amount of hot fat. D. Poached, cooked in steam with or without pressure. The correct answer is letter C. Number 2. Soups are traditionally classified into two groups. A. Cream soup and broth soup. B. Clear soup and thick soup. C. Thick soup and cream soup. Or D. Vegetable soup or puree soup. The correct answer is letter B. Number 3. Which of the following is not a kind of menu? A. Lunch and dinner menu B. Home service menu C. Breakfast menu or D. Room service menu The correct answer is B. Home service menu Number 4. Which of the following statements best describes the main course. A. It is usually the heaviest, heartiest, and most complex or substantive dish on a menu. B. It is additionally characterized by boiling solid ingredients in a liquid pot until the flavors are extracted, forming a broth. C. The course usually consists of sweet foods but may include other items. Or D, the course is served before anything else. The correct answer is A. Number 5. Fruit is also commonly found in dessert courses because of its naturally occurring sweetness. There is a wide variety of desserts in the world's cultures includes the following. Which of these is not included? A. Cakes B. Candies C. 
Custard? Or D. Champagne? The correct answer is D. Champagne. Congratulations! I knew you could do it! Now, share your deep thoughts as a food attendant. How important to be knowledgeable of your menu? Write your answers on your FBS notebook. Refer your answers to the rubrics given on page 28. And that concludes our lesson for today. See you again in the next episode of Lantau Compre, School on Air, through television. I am your teacher broadcaster, Jay Clarino. If you encounter any difficulty, please bear in mind that you are not alone in this new normal education. Keep safe everyone! Bye-bye!